This is WCPO 9 News. Thank you so much for joining us for WCPO 9 News. I'm Craig McKee. Here's a quick look at some of today's top stories. A plan to have Cincinnati schools go to remote learning was put on hold Monday night. The administration recommended in-person learning end on Thursday and resume on January 18th. Monday, more than 300 CPS staffers, including 23 nurses, weren't at work because of the pandemic. Without help from the central staff, 11 school buildings would have had to close. But school board members said that they wanted more information before making a final decision. In the meantime, individual school buildings could be closed due to a lack of staff. The board may consider the issue again on Monday. Ohio hospitals must now prioritize essential surgeries and put a pause on non-essential procedures. Governor Mike DeWine issued that order Monday to keep as many hospital beds open for COVID patients as possible. The decision comes as Ohio reported nearly 19,000 new cases of coronavirus on Monday and 350 new hospitalizations in 24-hour period. Over 37,000 cases were reported last weekend. St. Elizabeth is also freezing elective surgeries for more bed space. In a statement sent to WCPO, non-emergent procedures will now be pushed to mid-January. Elective surgeries requiring admissions through January 8th are also suspended. Well, the new year is bringing an increase to minimum wage in the Buckeye State. Minimum wage workers will now earn $9.31 per hour. That's about $2 more than the federal minimum wage. The 50 cent hourly increase is the largest since 2006. The $9.30 amounts to just over $19,000 annually for a full-time worker. Ohio is among nine states where the increase is tied to the cost of living. Good Tuesday morning, we've got cold air out the door. Temperatures in the 20s feeling like the teens, but seasonal later under sunny skies and temps in the 40s. We'll see 43 degrees in Cincinnati tomorrow and on Wednesday, but then Arctic air 19, 10, 14 in the mid 20s. Thursday, we're going to see some moisture work in here. We're going to get a chance for some snow right now. It looks like the possibility of a couple of inches starting Thursday morning. Then temperatures rebound coming up this weekend and we get rain.